I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Rise and shine, Firebirds. I'm Marcelo Villarojito. Today is Friday, November 6th, 2020, and welcome back to our eighth edition of our weekly show, The Rise. Although welcoming November this week, temperatures remain in the highs of 82 and the lows of 73 this weekend. Coming up on today's show, Alaya Mendoza with her recommendations when picking a college. Ricardo de Oliveira showing off his new take on Firebird spirit. Alyssa Zabala with this week's trending topics. And lastly, your weekly announcements. All this and more coming up on this edition of The Rise. In local news, Miami has elected its first female mayor, Daniela Levine Cava. She is also the first non-Hispanic mayor in 24 years and campaigned as a Democrat despite the position being nonpartisan. She won with a 54% majority and has vowed to appoint a medical advisor to help navigate the rest of the COVID crisis. In national news, the results for this year's election were not released on November 3rd as many in-person and mail ballots are yet to be counted. As of now, Joe Biden currently has an electoral college lead. However, Trump is still projected to win in other states. The race has been overall very tight, but on Wednesday, President Trump declared victory, even though the election wasn't over yet. Applying to colleges can be really difficult, but sometimes the hardest part is picking where you want to go after you get in. Here's Aliyah Mendoza with her advice on how to find the college that's the best fit for you. So, I got into a few colleges, but I'm having trouble deciding where I want to go. Well, first you should decide what place you think you'd best fit in, whether it's a big school or a small school. It's important to figure out what kind of environment you want to live in. Oh, that's good. Also, because of COVID, I'm having a hard time deciding which campuses I like best. How am I supposed to decide where I want to live for four years if I haven't even been there? Well, have you looked at any virtual tours? What's that? Many schools offer free virtual tours online, which can help you get to know the schools you got into without having to leave your bed. Also, if you guys are having a hard time figuring out what you want to study, try looking at the things you do in your free time, what you read, what you watch, and what you listen to. Thank you so much, this was super helpful. No problem. And I hope this helped you guys make the college choosing process a little bit easier. Signing off from Fiber TV, I'm Alain Mendoza, reporting. Even though our Firebirds are on Zoom, they haven't lost their flair for the dramatic. Here's Ricardo de Oliveira with different Spirit Week stereotypes. We always have that one guy that forgets his Spirit Week and comes in their uniform. Yeah, sorry bud, try dressing up tomorrow. Then you got the ones that actually do dress up, but kind of mix up the dates. There's no school today. Come back like that tomorrow. Up next is the one that messes it up for everyone by breaking all the rules. Look at this kid. He got ripped jeans, the flip flops, and I mean, that shirt is just not it. Then you got the lazy one. I mean, come on, put some thought behind your hat. At least he got crazy with it. You just, you just basic. And finally, you got the one with too much spirit. This is the face paint having too to worried person with the headbands and all that. We love it, but this one's gotta chill. So there you have it. These are a couple stereotypes and we hope you guys do better next year. After a politically charged week, it can be easy to focus on just one thing. Luckily, here's Alyssa Zabala to keep you updated on everything you've missed this week. 
Good morning, Firebirds. I'm Melissa Zavala, here to keep you in the loop of what's been going on in the media world. Ariana Grande reached number one on Billboard's new music poll for the second week in a row, with her single and album both titled Positions. The album was released last Friday, featuring artists like Ty Dolla Sign, Doja Cat, and The Weeknd. Ariana set the bar high when she released Thank You Next, and Positions did not disappoint. Twitter has been buzzing over season two of the Disney Plus live action Star Wars series, The Mandalorian. Hashtag The Mandalorian had been trending all over Twitter as Star Wars fans were anticipating the season premiere last Friday. This season of The Mandalorian is set to focus on the search for Baby Yoda's homeworld and follow up on the Darksaber reveal scene at the end of season one. Stay tuned because new episodes will be coming out every Friday until the end of December. As iHeartRadio's annual Jingle Ball Festival rolls around, the lineup for this year has finally been released. Some hit artists like Billie Eilish, Doja Cat, Dua Lipa, Harry Styles, Louis Capaldi, Sam Smith, and Shawn Mendes will be performing in this year's virtual concert. It will broadcast across more than 95 iHeartRadio, CHR radio stations nationwide and on the iHeartRadio app and will also be streamed on the CW app and CWTV.com on Thursday, December 10th at 9 p.m. With all these celebrities, who would want to miss it? That's all for this week's trending topics. While I'm sure you've been updated on national news, it's still important to know what's going on around Doral Academy. Here are your weekly announcements. Applications for middle school, high school, and performing arts are now available. There will be a National English Honor Society meeting at 4 p.m. in Mr. Montenegro's Zoom classroom. Firebirds, remember, next week, Wednesday, November 11th, is Veterans Day. There will be no school. That's all for this week's edition of The Rise. Make sure to follow us on all our social media at Firebird TV to keep up with everything happening this school year. From all of us here at FBTV, we hope you have an amazing weekend.